hello, we need to talk. For the next half hour, we're going to be talking about something very important. So important that it could save your life. It's called being positively aware about AIDS. Now wait a minute. We know what's going through your mind. AIDS? I know everything about AIDS. AIDS doesn't affect me. I don't have to worry about it. Well, you're wrong. AIDS is here. It's here in Covington High School, and it can't be ignored. Two months ago, we started on this project. We started digging up statistics and asking around. We found out that AIDS is even a more threat than we thought. Here's the bottom line. If you have ever had sex, you are sexually active. If you are sexually active, then you especially need to watch this program. If you are not sexually active, you still need to watch this program. Tipton County has the fourth highest teen pregnancy rate of communities its size in the state of Tennessee. Fourth. The reason why is because the teenagers here are very sexually active. When any group of teenagers are very sexually active, then age is a very big and very realistic threat. And that's why we need to talk. If you're smart, you'll watch. It, it could, could save, save your, your life. life. I know what you're thinking. I'm sick of hearing about AIDS. AIDS doesn't have anything to do with me or the people I hang around with. It doesn't affect me. Well, you're wrong. AIDS is here in Tennessee, in Tipton County, in Covington, in Covington High School. And it affects you. If you are or have been sexually active, then you run the risk of contracting HIV, which causes AIDS. Tipton County has one of the highest teen pregnancy rates in the state. What does that mean? It means the students at CHS are very sexually active. It also means they're not careful when they have sex. There are people walking the halls of Covington High that have HIV and don't even know it. They give it to every person they sleep with then that person gives it to every person they sleep with. Now you have a problem. A very big problem. With the sexual activity at Covington High, the number of HIV cases could double every weekend. We know you've heard about AIDS, but now it's time to listen. The people walking around HIV positive could be the person sitting next to you, someone in your second period class, or it could be you. Some of you don't realize how bad AIDS is. AIDS is deadly. After you contract HIV, you have a few years before you develop AIDS. Then you have about five painful years to live, if you're lucky. Then you die. In the high schools at Covington. AIDS doesn't care what your race is, it doesn't care how much money you have, and it doesn't care who you are. Anyone who puts themselves at risk can get AIDS. So what does risk mean? We often hear the term high-risk behavior. Exactly what does that mean? High-risk behavior means any behavior that puts you at risk to acquire this virus. Specifically, sexual activity. So any person who has had sex is at risk to have this virus. Persons who share intravenous uh, drugs with uh, other persons are at risk to acquire this infection. Similarly, uh, one should avoid these behaviors to prevent acquisition of this virus. Uh, and those are high-risk types of behavior. This virus does not just attack one certain person, but attacks persons over the whole spectrum of the uh, country. And so people who are engaging in this activity uh, regardless of their background, are at risk to acquire this virus. Where can I get tested? You can be tested in any doctor's office, or you can be tested at any county health department. You do not necessarily have to go <clears throat> to the health department in your county, but you can go to uh, uh, surrounding county health departments, and they will test you. These tests are confidential, so that they will not be revealed to other persons except yourself. How much will it cost? In, the cost will vary anywhere from about $15 up to about $40 for our HIV testing, depending on where that test is done. Will it hurt? Certainly it will hurt a little bit in that you do have to have blood drawn, but it's mainly a, like a bee sting or a needle stick to withdraw the blood, and only about maybe five to 10 cc's of blood are withdrawn, 
in an effort to determine your HIV positivity. So it is a minimal uh, pain to the person having the test and should not stop one from going to have the test done. How long do I wait for the results? Uh, in most uh, physician's offices, the results can be available in about a 48-hour to 72-hour time frame. Uh, in uh, public clinics and in public health departments, that may take up to uh, 10 days to two weeks to get the results back. It is important that one be counseled before and after the testing, however. You do not want to have the test done without knowing what a positive test means, what a negative test means, and you don't want to be told these results over the telephone. These are results that should be discussed in person uh, between the uh, uh, facility that has done the testing and the person who has had the test done. What did the results mean? HIV positive test means that you are infected with the HIV virus and that you will remain infected with the HIV virus for your lifetime. It does not mean that you necessarily have AIDS, but that you are at risk to develop acquired immune deficiency syndrome or AIDS in the future. A negative test is somewhat reassuring. Although we do have a window phase in which the test may be negative and you may still be infected with the virus and able to transmit that virus to other persons. So that if you have a negative test that is reassuring, you need to avoid high risk behavior and have a second test in about three months and again in about six months. Those all, by all three tests being negative, you can pretty well say with about 98% surety that you are not infected with that virus. This does depend on you practicing responsible behavior in that six months time and not engaging in activities that would put one at risk. Let's say I tested HIV positive. Should I inform my previous sexual partners? Yes, previous sexual partners should be informed that of HIV positivity or that they have been exposed to persons. If you do not feel comfortable in relating that information to your sexual partner, then the health department will do this for you in a confidential manner. Uh, they will contact the person and tell them that they may have been exposed to persons who are HIV and suggest that they be tested. They will not reveal your identity nor breach your confidentiality in, in revealing that information. What will happen to me physically, medically, socially, and mentally? Physically, initially, uh, not much will happen. You will continue to feel well, you will do well, you will continue to function. Over time, however, your physical condition will deteriorate over years, and one may then develop these infections and become quite ill uh, over time. Emotionally is the problem early on when you're uh, HIV positive, because there is, uh, there are conditions in which one can go through with anger, depression, etc. This really plays a head game on the person who has recently been found to be HIV positive. Fortunately, over time, most persons come to accept their HIV positivity and learn to live with that by carrying on their normal activities. Okay, so they're pretty sure that I'm negative. How do I stay that way? You stay negative by acting responsibly uh, with your behavior. You avoid uh, sexual activity that would put you at risk. Uh, certainly, abstinence is the 100% sure way to remain HIV negative. Should one choose to become sexually active, then one needs to take precautions with protected sex, condom use, to prevent the transmission of this uh, disease. Obviously, condom use is not 100% effective, and this makes this safer sex not safe sex. Uh, you should avoid intravenous drug use and you should avoid using alcohol to large uh, quantities or our intravenous drugs because we know when you use those uh, drugs that your judgment becomes impeded and you may engage in activity that does preclude, uh, you, d that does put you at risk to become HIV positive. Uh, it is uh, difficult to, to believe that after one weekend of uh, uh, having a party 
with drinking and unprotected sex that you can wake up some two weeks later to three weeks later finding that you are HIV positive and that you will remain that way for the rest of your life, not just for a week.